Hello, my name is Kelly Heckeman and I'm a Purdue Extension Educator in Kosciuszko County for Agriculture and Natural Resources. And today I have the opportunity to share with you a crash course into goals. Goals are such an important part of uh, management uh, decisions and provide the backbone for a lot of what we do in our day-to-day -day operations. Unfortunately, sometimes we forget the importance of goals and how they lead to our pathway of success. I've always used this um, diagram as a way to show the importance of how goals help us be successful. So we're going to hope that you have already worked on this management pyramid and have developed your vision statement, that, that broad statement that uh, defines where you want to be in the future, the mission statement that helps you on the day-to-day -day, um, goal of where you want your operation to be in the, the short term. And today, though, we're going to focus on what helps you to accomplish that mission and vision statement, and that's the long and short-term goals um, that hopefully you have written for your operation that will help you be successful, especially um, in that written marketing plan that you have developed. First, let's take a look at long-term business goals. Long-term goals are open-ended statements of what we wish to accomplish um, with no quantification of what is to be achieved and no time frame for completion. Long-term goals help us to kind of target what, how we want to accomplish that vision statement. And often you will hear long-term goals described as having drive. So when I have a successfully written and developed uh, long-term goal, it should have direction, um, where you want to be headed. Uh, it should have um, be reasonable. And so we always want to make sure the goals that we work on are attainable. It should be inspiring. Um, the goals that we write uh, should be something that have value to us. They mean something to us. Otherwise, um, that's not going to be what drives us to be successful um, on a day-to-day -day, uh, basis. Again, because the long-term goals relate to um, our our vision, they should um, be viable um, and then also be uh, eventual. Now that we have uh, learned about long-term goals and what we need to establish long-term goals, what we need to now focus on are those short-term goals that kind of help drive um, our success, that marketing plan on a day-to-day, -day, um, more timely that we can relate to. So we often refer to short-term goals as being smart. And that means that they should be specific. It's going to actually not be um, as open-ended. You're going to have um, a very specific reason for this goal. And we'll take a look at an example here of a SMART goal in a minute so you can see what we mean by specific. It needs to be something that is measurable and that you're going to also be working on a plan of how to measure uh, the metrics you need to determine whether this short-term SMART goal has been accepted successful or not. It should also be attainable um, or achievable. So something that it, it should inspire you and challenge you, but something that as you, your management team works on this goal, that you should be able to um, achieve it um, within a reasonable time frame. The R is uh, it can be relevant, it can be rewarding to your operation to help you be successful. And it the most important part of that SMART goal, it also needs to be timely. There's going to be a time element on our short-term goals so that we know that we have to focus on this specific goal so that we can determine our success. So let's look at two examples of some short-term goals. In December of 2022, my average corn bushel sold income will increase by 3% from my 2021 average. So this is specific. We are looking at increasing income of, of bushels sold. Um, it is timely. Um, we are looking to have this goal accomplished in December of 2022. It is measurable because we're looking hopefully for a 3% income and maybe 3% um, is, is too ambitious because when you think about 3% even on $4 corn, that's, that's 12 cents. And so that may be um, um, 
maybe not as uh, reward or relevant, attainable, um, but it is a goal, right? And that we want to be able to measure um, our success against that. And if we weren't able to achieve um, 3%, um, what can we do to um, change that? Uh, another example of another short-term goal in 2022, fields one, five, and seven, and nine will be tested for soybean cis nematode to determine if yields are being impacted. So again, this is a, a smart goal because it is specific. We're looking at soybean cis nematode. It's measurable because we're gonna look at the population um, and see if that had any impact on our yield. Um, rewarding, hopefully, because if we do have a cis nematode problem, uh, then we're able to fix it and increase our yield. Um, and attainable, achievable, yes, that should be very easy. That just requires um, the someone to be appointed to going to get the samples and having them uh, taken to the lab to get uh, the data. So again, some examples of very specific short-term goals. So one of the ways now that we have this short-term goal that we can help um, to make sure that it is successful is we can have objectives underneath that short-term goal. And sometimes depending on uh, what you read, sometimes short-term goals um, and objectives have been used interchangeably. But regardless, um, today we're gonna focus on our short-term goals being SMART and objectives being these um, more general uh, steps that we need to take um, to be successful in achieving our short-term goals. They should be, um, objectives are observable, they can be challenging, they don't necessarily have a time element. They're small steps into reaching goals and if you really um, are the type of person in your management that likes to do those uh, to-do lists, um, objectives can be that to-do list, those action steps, those things that need to be done on a daily basis. So think of objectives as that to-do list or tactical steps that need to be worked on in order to achieve that short-term goal. Now that we have talked again about objectives and how they create that day-to-day to-do -day, um, to list or that tactical plan, some other reminders about the function of objectives. They help you um, to determine what the business is gonna look like in the future. Again, that ties you back to your overall mission and vision of the farm operation. Uh, they help you to accomplish your mission. So when I write my mission statement, I should be able to look at the mission statement and write my short-term, long-term goals from that mission statement and be able to connect the objectives and uh, short-term goals back to that mission statement. Um, and then objectives are also, again, used to coordinate the effort of um, all people involved in the business. And we're gonna talk about um, some steps to how to really implement and involve the entire management team. Uh, so again, just to give you some examples of possible objectives so you can see the difference um, compared to those more specific, smart, short-term goals. Um, so I may have a possible objective where I wanna spend more time with the family away from the farm. Um, I wanna improve the profitability of the soybean cryop. I think that's all of our goal, um, to always improve that profitability, and especially in a year like 2022, that's gonna be extremely challenging um, with input costs. Um, these objectives could be things that um, are gonna be very important that we want to achieve and consider. So as we consider writing um, our goals for the farm operation, just a reminder that there are uh, three different types of management goals that we should consider. Uh, personal goals, we should all have um, goals that we want to accomplish for ourselves personally. Uh, production goals, which may be sometimes the easier uh, goals to write because uh, we wanna be able to have the highest yield that we can or be um, the most efficient um, in our production. And then those operational um, or business goals, kind of there's where I, can I make the money this year or how can I um, make the best decision on input cost and securing the best price for those. So all of those goals are areas where I should spend some time writing SMART goals uh, for 2022 or the next three, six months, depending on the time frame that you're um, working on. So just some recommendations on how to implement a goal. It is a four-step process. Um, so you wanna make sure you set uh, standards in those goals of what you want to achieve. 
Again, a reminder, you want to have a way to measure and record the information. So it's gonna involve other people in your management team. It may not always be just you. Um, you wanna have a, a, take an opportunity to interpret and evaluate the data, and that will help determine whether you were successful in achieving the goal that you determined. And if you weren't successful, what are some corrective actions that you will need to take in order for that goal to be um, successful uh, next year? Um, and then as we think about managing this four-step process, um, one of the most important steps, uh, I rarely do we in agriculture on any farm operation um, farm solely 100% by ourselves. So we need to get commitment of the people that um, are involved. And communication is gonna be key to these goals and making sure that everybody on your team um, whether it's a production goal, whether it's a business goal, that you communicate that goal um, and then help assign people to have steps um, to know what their role is uh, to be included in that goal so that it can be um, successful. You want to provide an education about the purpose of the goal and how it relates to the operation, the business, how it reflects in your mission statement, and how at the end of the day that helps the entire team to be successful. You may also um, want to involve other members of your management team in helping to write those annual goals. Uh, again, you want to make sure you create a climate of trust and support. Uh, those team members that work with us that help us to achieve um, our production goals and our business goals on a day-to-day -day basis, they want to know that their input is valued in the process and that their contributions um, will be important to the success um, of the farm operation or the business during the year. So building that trust and support um, is extremely important in the process and that may also um, include asking them to have input on the goal, um, ask them to, you know, is it, do you think it's relevant? Is it rewarding? Is it attainable? Is it achievable? Um, is my time frame correct? Um, and that helps give them not only trust, but buy in and know that they're at a critical part of your operation. And again, make sure to review uh, the status of achievement and progress in that goal. Um, again, evolving people is always in the management team so important um, to building the success. Once they want to uh, know that their contribution is valuable to making sure that that goal is achieved, um, they're going to work harder for you and with you to make sure um, that the overall business is successful. Now that we have reviewed um, what the difference between our long and short-term goals are, steps on how to write and implement and manage uh, short and long-term goals for our farm operation, we're going to finish or conclude where we started our presentation with looking at that pathway leading to results. And as a reminder, um, in summary, it is important once we build our mission and vision statement to write have written goals for our farm operation. And then once we have those written goals to make sure that we develop a plan on how to implement them, measure them, and then be able to evaluate them and take corrective action if necessary to make sure that either we are successful or if we weren't successful, what do we need to change to be successful um, in the future? And this process, although it, it does, uh, again, it's not linear, right? So this is an ongoing um, process and something we need to continue to work on um, either yearly or every few months, depending on the time element that you um, put in your goal or um, even for the growing season uh, to help you be successful. So I encourage you to take the time to work on your pathway to success and build those short and long-term goals in a written fashion so that everybody in the operation is familiar with uh, the goals and what they are working towards um, for this year or this growing season. And I just want to leave you with a quote that I think uh, helps us to understand really the importance of having goals. Um, and unfortunately, the author is unknown, but in the absence of clearly defined goals, we become strangely loyal to performing daily acts of trivia. So hopefully that will help you to think about why it's important to write goals so that we can continue to make progress and move forward in our operation and not do the same thing every day, every year, um, and continue to grow and be uh, profitable on a day-to-day -day basis. 
Thank you again for taking the time today to spend a few minutes to refresh yourself on a crash course in setting goals and the importance in your farm operation and how they can help you be successful in developing a, whether it's a commodity marketing plan or um, a plan to spend more time with your family in the future. Thank you for your, again for your time today.